This is Trey with verticaljumpprom.com slash elite secrets and in this video you're going to get five effective tips on dribbling the basketball. Tip number one, anticipate the defense. This is a wise man's trick. The reason why it's so important to keep your head up while dribbling is because it gives you the opportunity to predict what the defense is going to do. If you can predict what the defense is going to do then dribbling the basketball becomes so much easier. The less dribbling you do, the better. Every time you dribble the basketball, you're giving the opponent a chance to steal it. So you want to dribble the basketball only when necessary. An example of how anticipation works is if you see the defense is playing a man-to-man -man defense, you can take your defender off the dribble and attack the weakest side of the defense. If you see the defense is in a 2-3 two two zone, you would know that it would be best to pass the ball until you see an opening in the defense instead of dribbling the air out of the basketball. Tip number two, dribble smart. This is a very broad tip, so let me give you a few examples. If you're dribbling the basketball and trying to shake your defender, but you're not getting anywhere, a smart thing to do would be to call for a pick. Some people think if they call for a pick that they're taking the easy way out. But the fact of the matter is, the pick and roll is very effective. If you're being bothered by the defense, this is a great option, especially if you have a good big man that knows how to roll after the pick, so you can dish it to him. Another example of dribbling smart is avoiding excessive use of one move. If you cross the basketball over from left to right two times, you should change it up and start crossing the ball from right to left, or maybe try using an in and out move. If you become predictable, your defender will begin to read your moves and start stealing the ball from you. Tip number three, dribble aggressively. When you dribble, be sure to dribble the basketball with force. This shows that you're confident in your ball handling ability and that you know what you're doing. Dribbling the basketball with force also makes it more difficult for a defender to steal the ball from you. Tip number four, use snake eyes. Practice using your eyes to fool your defenders. Sometimes the key to a great crossover is looking in the opposite direction of where you're going. Look right when you're setting up a crossover to go left, and look left when you're setting up a crossover to go right. Tip number five, non-dribbling hand action. Use the hand you're not dribbling with to shield the basketball. If you see your defender trying to steal the ball, use your non-dribbling hand to shield the ball so they can't get to it. You can do this when driving to the basket because that is when defenders try to poke the ball and try to go on a fast break. Take your ball handling skills to the elite level. Take these five solid tips and implement them into your game. Using these tips for dribbling the basketball while following a ball handling program would definitely help transform your basketball skills to high levels. These are some great tips, but you need to start training like the pros if you want to transform your handles. Click the link in the description or go to verticaljumpprime.com slash elite secrets to get your free report that will show you how to train like the basketball elite. Thanks for watching.